Hey guys, ever had one of those situations where you do something dumb and then realize, I may need uh, some medical attention on this? Like when I stabbed myself in the leg when I was skinning the cow? Yeah. The homestead and farm can be a dangerous place sometimes with the tractors, the machinery, chainsaws, grinders, axes, all that kind of stuff. And can always lead to injuries if you're not careful. And even if you are careful, sometimes you slip up like I did with the knife when I was dressing the cow and stabbed myself in the shin. I needed medical attention right away. Thankfully, I was able to give it to myself. But with that, it's one of the reasons why I keep this right here. It's a first aid kit, basically an individual first aid kit, an IFAC, and what it entails or what it what is in it is uh, the tourniquet, uh, gauze, gloves, hemostatic agent, some tape, that sort of thing where I can control a really bad situation if I'm bleeding. There's other situations we might have or we might come across where we're hunting, we're fishing, or even on the highway if we're driving and we come across a bad accident. I've got another IFAC right here at my feet in the truck and it's there for me in most circumstances, if I get in a bad accident, I need to look after myself. It's also there in case I come across an accident or something, if I'm the first one on the scene, if there's some way I can help out whatsoever, then I can actually grab this. I've got the other first aid kit under the seat in the back for minor scratches and stuff. But when it comes to the IFAC right here, uh, it's, again, it's another tourniquet, uh, hemostatic agent, lots of gauze, uh, gloves, that sort of thing that allows me to look after some serious bleeding situations. Let me grab it, we'll go through it, and I'll kind of show you some of the gear that's in it. Also, stay tuned, because I reached out to some more friends of mine and they have a company out west that deals in medical stuff. They wrote the book on the Canadian Forces TCCC program and they know their stuff. So they're offering a discount as well to my Canadian and for one section of it, US viewers can take, a, take advantage of it as well. So this is the IFAC I keep here in the truck. There's Velcro on the back, so it's able to stick to the carpet down beside my feet there. And I've got the red handle, I can grab onto it. Inside, we've got a tourniquet. Guys, use quality tourniquets that you can buy from a quality place. Uh, one of those places is C Toms. Uh, I highly recommend them. You're not gonna get any cheap Chinese knockoff stuff. Uh, so also in there is emergency bandage. We've got some, basically, uh, what you gonna call it? The roll, elastic roll. We've got two sets of gloves in there. We've got a big pack of gauze. Hemostatic agent. So if you're tourniquet isn't controlling the bleeding that will help as well and then a big surgical sponge that's in there as well I should have my scissors in here my shears but uh, I might have grabbed them out for something else but they should be in here as well the shears are handy to have if you know you've got some sort of puncture that's gone through your pants your jeans your canvas work overalls something like that the shears will allow you to cut those off and allow you better access to the wound to look after it. So keeping some of these IFACs themselves in, say, your shed, your barn, your garage, your vehicle, even on a tractor is a good idea as well. Something where, where you might be taking part in the dangerous activity like chainsawing, um, working with an auger, a grain auger, anything like that. Um, you know, bandsaw. There's so many situations like that where something bad might happen. 
And again, it's accidents, it's silly little mishaps, it's that sort of thing. Sometimes we're not paying attention or we're tired or we wanna rush the job. And that's kind of when the accidents happen. So having something there to look after the wound and look after yourself when it does happen is really nice. Now, the big thing with that is <laughs> I love gear myself. So I can buy all the gear I want and I love it and that, but a lot of the times, some gear doesn't help unless you have the training on it. For example, the tourniquets, the gauze, the hemostatic agents. Now, if you've got a puncture or you've got uh, an artery that's burnt in blood, you know, it's one thing to have the gear to be able to control that bleeding. It's another to have the training. So that's why I kind of reached out to my friends over at C Toms in Edmonton. They are all ex-military, uh, lots of combat medics, uh, physician's assistants. These guys know their stuff. So I reached out to them and asked them to help me out in this and help out my viewers. So what they're offering is they've got this cool little feature on their website that is an IFAC builder. You can go through and pick out, say, what kind of pouch you want, what kind of tourniquet you want, uh, hemostatic agents, what kind of gauze you want to put in there, how many of them, uh, what kind of shears, like you can customize this to your own desire. So on the website, if you go through that IFAC builder, they're going to give us a 5% discount to my viewers. Unfortunately, this one's only valid in Canada because they're not able to ship the medical equipment outside of Canada. However, the other thing they've done is hooked us up with a discount for their online training. So if you want to take any of their medical courses that are online, they're going to give you a 30% discount on that, which is just awesome. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the discount codes down in the description. I believe the one is THOR, all capital letters, THOR5 for the IFAC builder. And I believe for the e-learning programs, it is THOR30. But I'm going to put that down in the description as well. And you guys can take advantage of that. And I highly recommend it, especially if you are on a homestead, a farm, anything like that. The training makes such a huge difference in these situations versus just having the gear. So guys, I hope this is kind of a little cool video that might get you thinking about preparations you might want in your truck or on your homestead. Uh, medical accidents happen and you need to be prepared for them.